Medication. It's everywhere. Lots of people take them, either short term or long term, though many of us often take for granted how we can access those tablets. For a moment, I want you all to put yourself in the shoes of someone with arthritis. Swelling in the joints make it hard for and painful for you to use your hands. Now imagine your pain medication is contained in a blister pack or a pill bottle. Suddenly, you can't get into your medication, and what was meant to be helping your condition is now a source of further pain and frustration. Unfortunately, this is the experience for many people across the world, in that simply accessing their medication isn't so simple. We want to change that. The most common pharmaceutical packaging for tablets are blister packs and pill bottles. These are not accessible due to the requirements of fingertip strength, small parts and multiple actions that need to be performed simultaneously. For example, blister packs require dexterity as they are often small and the combination of hard plastic and aluminium means they need a lot of strength to push the tablet through. For pill bottles, child resistant locks decrease accessibility for the aging population and anyone with conditions that affect grip strength and dexterity such as Parkinson's disease and arthritis because they often require dual motions to be performed at once such as the common push and turn lids which add more pressure to the hands. The issue with blister packs and pill bottle accessibility is so widespread that they often win Arthritis Australia's That's a Wrap, the best and worst packaging, which is where people vote on social media platforms what they think is the best and worst packaging for accessibility. In 2022, blister packs won first in the worst packaging and pill bottles came in second. In 2020, their places were swapped around. Some workarounds people use to get into their medication if they can't use the packaging as intended include asking someone else to help open it for them, such as a family member. However, this results in more dependence on others, which may cause shame or embarrassment and could potentially be dangerous if they are unable to help and therefore can't take the medication. Tools are also used, such as scissors, knives and screwdrivers. This is dangerous and could lead to injury. Some people prefer to put their medication into another container that they find easier to use. This could involve popping out each tablet from a blister pack and transferring it to a jar or an older medication packaging that is more accessible. However, this could also cause potential health issues such as contamination from previous medications if the container is not cleaned properly. We wanted to design a product that would allow people greater access to their medications without needing to use these potentially harmful workarounds.